Today we're talking about off-body EDC. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we're taking a look at this brand new pack, one of the newest packs coming from Vertex. This right here is the newest rendition in the Sock P line, and this is the Sock P Fanny Pack. It's a tactical fanny pack, which kind of sounds funny, but it's actually super useful and practical. You may have seen me using this in some recent videos, like at Overland Expo. I use this thing camping all the time, and I really use this pack for a very specific purpose, which we're gonna kind of dive into here. So speaking of SOCP or SOCP, that stands for the Special Operations Combatives Programs. A lot of you guys may have heard of Greg Thompson before, and a lot of these products are designed in collaboration between Greg Thompson, who basically founded SOCP and Vertex. So right here is a pack that I actually haven't reviewed in the past, but this is the original SOCP sling. Has a lot of cool functionality in this little pack. And after using this off and on for a little bit over a year, I really wanted something a little bit bigger. So this one really fits the bill. I have this new pack loaded out with a lot of my EDC items, so I'll bring you guys in for a little bit of a closer look so we can check out all the functionality, all the compartments, and a few different ways to actually wear this thing. So here's a top-down look at this new Sock P fanny pack. I'm going to pull in the old sling bag here for comparison. As you can tell, much bigger and also much thicker, which allows you to put this thing into more of a tactical style roll. I'm going to be honest, right here up front, I don't really use this for like a tactical purpose, although some people may consider it that way. I'm really using this thing as an EDC dump pouch, and it has a lot of features that I honestly don't even use, but I'm going to show you guys all of the features and then kind of run you through how I actually use this, especially when I'm out camping in the truck overlanding and just sort of like every day-to-day -day use. So as far as the pack design goes you'll notice that there is an adjustable waist strap or this can be considered a shoulder strap as well. It has a quick release on here so if you need to get the bag off of you it is very easy to do so. It is fully adjustable so even for those guys out there who have a really big waist this thing should fit you no matter your actual waist size, chest size, whatever it may be. I personally don't really wear this thing as a fanny pack. I typically sling it over my shoulder. It's a lot more comfortable that way and when you are concealing a firearm in here, it just makes for a better drawing position. At least for me, everyone is gonna be different when it comes to that. But again, this thing can conceal a gun, but I don't really like off-body carry when it comes to a firearm. I would typically rather carry appendix, but in a camping situation, this is perfect because I don't need to have all of my gear on me at all times. So we'll talk about that more in a little bit. First up right here is a cell phone pouch, very similar to the previous one. In here right now, I just have some business cards and you'll notice that when you're wearing this thing on your chest or down around your waist, this sort of flips down and it acts as almost like a little holder for your phone so you can pull up maps, you can send text messages, whatever you may need to do. Now I really don't put my phone in this pouch, hardly ever, but I will show you guys how this works. So business cards and stickers I leave in there. Here is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So pretty large phone. They don't get much bigger than this right now. I can slip my phone in this pouch here and as you can tell, fits pretty well. Now I can still control my phone through here so I can check out all my apps. If I wanna pull up some maps, here we have Onyx Off-Road. I can zoom around and look at stuff while I'm on the move. Maybe you're hiking, maybe you're driving around. Kind of some cool functionality, but again, not something that I personally use. And then if we look at the front of this pouch, depending on which way you have your phone oriented in here, you can actually pull these flaps and kind of tuck them away. That way, when this thing is hanging from your chest, you can turn on your camera and actually use this as like a discreet recording type of device. I think most people who see a phone like this mounted on someone's chest would probably assume that you are recording, but that's just some extra functionality there. Feeding into that tactical name from the Sock P line. Now with the phone out like this, it also acts as sort of like a quick dump pouch. If you need to just like store stuff, you can flip this down and kind of use it as like a little table on your chest. So that functionality is pretty nice. Now I'm gonna return this thing to the way that I actually use it with just business cards and stickers in there. And this pouch is held in place by Velcro, not straps like you would have found on the sling in the past. 
Now, before we dive into the internal compartments on this bag right here on the outside, it's sort of like this stretchy material and they're sort of like little hidden compartments. There's actually a ton of little hidden compartments like this right here all throughout this bag. So you could throw really whatever you want in those. I haven't really utilized those for anything yet, but it's nice that they are there. Now for the first main compartment, we'll zip this thing open and you can tell that it only zips down halfway because you don't want your items to be falling out when this thing is riding on your chest. So we have this sort of see-through mesh material here with a nice big zipper. This is just a simple dump pouch if you wanna throw some stuff in here and not have it bounce all around. There is a little lanyard key, which I typically have my Trayvax Talon on there and my key to my Tacoma or whatever vehicle I'm driving that day. Then you also have some more stretchy pockets here. Now these pockets here are sort of that like stretchy material, nice and big for conforming to whatever items you have in here. Held closed by Velcro. And in here I just have a Streamlight Micro Stream. And then over on this side is where I keep my wallet. Currently carrying around the Trayvax Contour. You guys have seen this wallet quite a lot. Now moving on to the fun pouch right here. This is probably one of my favorite improvements because this one, as soon as you start packing it out with gear, you'll notice that there isn't a whole lot of room for this thing to expand. So this pouch right here is eh, about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch here. So you can conceal almost a full size firearm in here and makes it a lot more practical for carrying around other gear as well. So inside here is where I currently have my TS-43X. Gonna pull that out and set it to the side that way you guys can see in here a little bit better. You do have some more loops up here in each corner as well as like some little paracord here. Not exactly sure what the functionality is behind these but you can make something up. And then this pouch right here is sort of like an admin pocket. So you have some more mesh on the inside. You can see the Sock P, Greg Thompson branding there. And then these straps here could be used for a spare mag although I would probably want a spare mag a little bit easier accessible. You could put pens and basically just use it as a regular admin pocket. This whole pouch is removable, so you can pull that thing out of there. You'll notice that there is some Velcro on the back here. So I've seen people put like medical shears and a bunch of different stuff actually through this little pass through here as well. They also come with this included little holster, if you wanna call it a holster. It's sort of like part of their Tactigami line, so you can adjust it to fit whatever firearm you may need, and then this strap will sort of protect the trigger guard. I personally don't like a fabric material being in charge of blocking my trigger guard, so for my firearm, this is my typical everyday carry, I'm using a minimal QVO holster, which basically just blocks the trigger guard for me has a clip on there, and I also took the wing off, that way I could slip it in there, that way the firearm is protected, it's a lot safer than just throwing it in there. But if you don't own a holster that will fit in here, it's still a decent option, it's just not something that I would do. Now speaking of the secret compartments, right here is another sort of like hidden dump pouch. You probably could put a little piece of body armor in there like you can on a lot of the other Vertex packs. I don't know if anyone is making a panel specifically cut for this, and that to me, is cool i guess it could add some rigidity if you throw like a defender armor panel in there but i like keeping this thing pretty light like i mentioned i don't even really like carrying a firearm in here because i prefer to carry on body but this pouch alone allows this thing to expand a lot more that way you can dump a lot of different gear in here and it'll still remain pretty small but packed out while riding on your chest now for the final piece on the back here, you'll see some laser cut molly. This has a pass through. You can actually pull this Velcro here and access that pouch from the inside. So if you were slipping a panel in there, you could kind of do it that way. A few different ways to access that like internal hidden pouch. And then right here on the laser cut molly, obviously it's going to be a perfect candidate for Sock P Blade. This is the Greg Thompson Benchmade collaboration. The Sock P Dagger, this is the smaller version. And previously, I actually liked how it fit into the sling pouch because you would pull it out from the front of the bag here. This still works great. It just was like a little bit of a learning curve. I was so used to just kind of dragging my finger to pull that signet right out of the side of the bag, but now it's gonna be coming from over the top, get access to that, and you can go to work. You can also put different knives in here. I still like to carry my actual cell phone in my pocket as well as my EDC fixed blade that I've been carrying. But it is nice to have like a dedicated self-defense tool right there. It's kind of hidden and out of the way as well. 
Now the way I like to use this bag is like I mentioned for an EDC dump pouch, especially when I'm outdoors camping, jumping in and out of the truck or the van, whatever it may be. I don't like having my pockets full of stuff all the time. I don't like wearing this thing as a fanny pack just because I don't really like having stuff around my waist like that, especially if I'm concealed carrying appendix. But in this case, I do have everything in here, the firearm included, and this is basically how you access the stuff. So mainly the dagger right from the top, just like that. Super quick deployment, very easy to put that back in the sheath. Also, like I mentioned, when you open these pockets, if you have anything just sitting in here loosely, like say my cell phone, if I open that pouch out, it's not going to just like spill out onto the ground because of the way that this thing is designed. Now, if you are the type of person who wants to conceal carry a firearm in this bag, you're gonna have to practice a little bit because of how this thing kind of sits on your body. When I unzip this with a Glock 43X, the TS-43X from Danger Close Armament in here, I can get a good master grip, but you also want to make sure you are using good discipline here. Keep that muzzle away from you as you draw out. And with a smaller firearm like this, even with a red dot optic on there, it works really well. Now when you bump up to larger firearms, like say maybe a Glock 19 with an RMR, something that's a little bit thicker, maybe something that's a little bit longer too, you're not going to be able to position this at an ideal angle for actually drawing out. Generally it's going to be sitting a little more like horizontal in the pack, so you really want to get your reps in, dry fire practice, take this bag out to the range and actually use it how you would use it in a real world situation if you are actually concealed carrying in this bag. Now my favorite thing about this pack while using it, especially in a camping situation, is that I have everything in here all the time. When I'm going to sleep at night up here in the tent, I don't have to empty my pockets and like throw everything all loose into a bag. I can simply just pull this out. I have my flashlight in here. I have a blade in here. I have, most importantly, a firearm in here and it just makes it nice and concealed. It's a lot safer than just setting a gun underneath your pillow without any trigger protection or anything like that. It's also sort of nice to use as just like an EDC organizer. That way when I am in a hurry and I'm running out the door, I simply grab this bag off the counter and I know that I have everything in here. Keys, wallet, sometimes my phone, firearm, knife, light. Got everything nice in this little package here. So that is my overview of the new Sock P Fanny Pack. One thing that I would like to see in the future after using this for a little while is actually a pack this size with an extra compartment on it. I actually prefer wearing the sling bag in this fashion right here because it is a little bit smaller. I just wish that it packed out a little bit more. You can tell by looking at the bottom here, it is pretty thin. So if they added this other compartment here, it would be nice to see this thing pack out just a little bit. I think you could still fit a subcompact firearm in here and just hold a lot more. If I dump my normal EDC gear in here, phone, wallet, knife, car keys, and stuff like that, it gets pretty packed out to capacity and then you can't really add anything more after the fact. So maybe in the future, it may not even be in the Sock P line, but it would be cool to see a Vertex pack that is really just like an EDC dump pouch. Those are just my two cents for Vertex. Maybe that's something you guys would consider in the future. Now, if you guys want any more information on this pack, I will leave a link in the description down below. You can check out their website right now, and if you use my code TALENTSI at checkout, I believe you will receive 15% off your order. Sometimes they will run deals where those codes are bumped up a little bit, but on any given day, you can expect at least 15% off while using that code. Now, if you guys have any questions on my EDC loadout or any general questions about this pack right here, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer anything as best as possible. And that is going to be all for today. So if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.